lot of people are using artificial intelligence to generate images, and that's really cool, but there's this one parameter that people have asked questions about, and I've heard it a few times, is what is about this random number seed? And what does it mean? How does it work? Is there any relationship between one seed and the other? And the answer really is no. And you see a lot of times you get the parameter, you see seed, and you set it equal to negative one, and it's just gonna pick a number seed. Now, why would you actually set a value? It's when you're doing modeling and simulation, if you actually set the value, you have this machine. This is a, it's a pseudo random number generator, and it has this handle, this crank, and we'll just say that it has this, these mathematical functions that anytime you put a value in here, you're going to get the same string of values out. Same input, same outputs. So that's really important if you're trying to reproduce and using modeling and simulation, the reproducibility of your study of your code is very important when doing these simulations. So here we're gonna have a shoot or intake valve and let's just have a little conveyor belt to have some stuff going out. So you might see that behavior increment. So it doesn't matter that it's incrementing. That's good for rep reproducibility if you're trying to figure out where your image was at. But let's just start out with a single number to put into our machine. And what's a good number? I don't know. I think 69 would be an excellent number. And we plunk that into the machine and it turns the handle and out the other side, we get something like, like three, five, nine, eight, six, seven, five, three, zero, nine. And that would be this string of random variables that would be scattered on the latent space that would create different weightings that would allow for different renderings or patterns. But if we have a completely different number, let's say we stand up to number 70, increment up, and plunk that in the machine, and then we would get a like a one, three, nine, four, three, eight, I'm just trying to come up with numbers, <laughs> and there's no mathematical relationship. So the first value in each, the second value, third value, fourth value, once you start plotting these all out, there's just no relationship. So, but these have different behaviors. These scatter noise differently, and that's how you get different generations of images, even though you just are incrementing the seed by one. So that is the random number seed generator a little bit of how it works and how it influences the latent space.